hello happy monday welcome back to another vlog excuse my appearance right now it was a work from home day for me so i have just been home on my computer majority of the day and then i went to my apartment gym for a little while walked on the treadmill got a good sweat going so that's why i look like this but i'm about to hop in the shower and do a hair mask wash my hair, all that good stuff, but I wanted to start a new vlog and say hello. Let me grab the stuff I need. Ugh, we're gonna do some Olaplex. I started packing, so I feel like I have stuff everywhere, but then some of it is already packed away and it's just a little, I, I'm, I'm trying to be like smart and efficient with this and pack the stuff that I don't use on a regular basis first. But that's what I wanted to talk about and what this vlog really is gonna be because I am getting the keys to my new apartment in a couple of days. So I'm gonna be moving out of here, finally. And I feel like with all of the craziness that's been going on between getting the new apartment and starting the packing process and just being really busy and focused with work and trying to like rebuild my clientele at the salon. And I just feel like I've been very go, go, go. And I know as soon as I get the keys to this apartment and I officially start moving everything and unpacking, organizing and all that, it's gonna be like this whole month, it's just gonna whoosh, fly by and I really wanted to take these last few days I just want to kind of have like some calm few days like the calm before the storm kind of and just do some self-care and just like enjoy the coziness of this little apartment one last time but before we do that i do want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video anna louisa thank you so much to them for continuing to work with me they've been a huge supporter of my channel if you're unfamiliar with them they make affordable high quality sustainable jewelry and the jewelry that you always see me in like the stuff that i never take off my bracelets my earrings this necklace it's all always Anna Luisa. That's what I love so much about their jewelry. Like not only is the style of their pieces so beautiful and so my taste because I love dainty pieces that you can layer but I love when my jewelry is high quality and water resistant and tarnish free so I can just leave it on all the time and I don't have to worry about ruining my jewelry if I'm gonna be going to the gym sweating or if i'm about to you know get in the shower and i love that because i feel so good when i have jewelry on like even if i'm in bummy clothes with my hair a mess and no makeup like i still feel stylish a little bit and like really feminine when i have my favorite jewelry on so i love that i can just leave it on and not worry about it and it can just like be a part almost of my self-care routine and Anna Luisa is having an amazing sale right now for Valentine's Day you can get up to 25% off your order so I will have a link to their website in the description definitely go check it out with Valentine's Day coming up I mean it's this is the perfect time to either treat yourself to a little something you know show yourself some self-love be your own valentine or if you want to get a gift for a loved one their jewelry is perfect for that thank you so much Anna Luisa, for sponsoring this portion of the vlog now what i'm gonna do is i am going to wet my hair and then i'm gonna put the olaplex number three i have a little bit left in this bottle still but i also have a fresh one this is not a conditioning treatment this is a bond repairing treatment so my hair even though it feels pretty good but if you saw my last vlog we did a color correction my co-worker did it for me and we bleached my hair and it went through a few different processes and even though it feels okay i just want to do this treatment just to make sure it's good and strong and i'm gonna let this sit for like probably 30 minutes and then I'm gonna hop in the shower and I'm gonna wash my hair with the number four and number five shampoo and conditioner. Let me wet my hair. Just towel dry. And 
and I just make sure I am saturating my hair. Hi, it's a couple days later and I'm like, oh, I should probably continue that vlog that I started. I cut my self-care night a little short the other night because I just got so tired and originally I was gonna do a face mask and like tint my eyebrows and all this stuff but then it was late and I had to be up early the next morning for work so after I blow dried my hair I just did my regular skincare and went straight to bed and then yesterday I didn't vlog anything because I was working all day and I don't know my body felt like I was fighting something off like I don't know I just felt very exhausted all day yesterday but I got a good night's rest last night and I'm feeling a hundred percent today I feel really good oh actually I totally forgot I have a bunch of Celsius Celsius Celsius's so Cel you know these energy drinks so today I'm gonna be home all day. I still technically have the lease to this apartment until the first week of March. And I'll just like still have stuff here and I'll just kind of work on gradually getting it all over to the new place. But I feel like after tomorrow, like once I get the keys and I start moving, like I already, I know how I am. I'm gonna be so excited to just get everything over there as quickly as possible. So even though I have the extra time, cause even though I'm still gonna be sleeping here for like the next week or two, every day I'm gonna be bringing stuff over to the new place. So it's just gonna keep getting more and more empty. This is gonna be probably like the last day that I'm just here home all day in this apartment and i'm like am i getting emotional i did not expect that like as excited as i am for the change and for the new place like it's gonna be so good i'm just so excited to decorate and organize and I I know it's gonna be like it, it's a nicer apartment too like it's just it's all upgrades but I'm also like kind of sad in a way because this apartment first of all I've never stayed anywhere like other than my parents house like where I grew up I never stayed in an apartment longer than a year like I've never renewed a lease anywhere that I've lived so the fact that I was here for over two years is a big deal so it feels sentimental for that reason but also like I grew so much in this apartment and I went through so much like I think some of the hardest stuff but also the best I think back to when I first moved in here at the end of 2021, I had never lived away from the Northeast. I never lived further than two hours away from my fam my immediate family. I always felt growing up like, I, I always would say like, oh, I'm gonna move to California. Like, I always had these dreams of like moving, moving to a completely different part of the country. But I was always like really shy and timid. And even though I wanted to do these things, realistically, the thought of doing it alone was never even an option for me. Like I always thought like, oh, I would do it with a friend or with a boyfriend. I also never thought that like I financially would be able to leave and move and go live somewhere by myself. We're like getting deep now, but I always stayed in my comfort zone. Like even in college, I went to college with my best friend. We roomed together. We were roommates every single year in college. I never branched out. I was not like a risk taker at all. I had severe driving anxiety. If I ever went anywhere, like on any trips, 
or even just like took a day trip to go into the city or something like I never did stuff like that by myself and it I never was the one driving it's just crazy to think back like 10 years ago to how I was and to think like holy shit I made this career for myself even though that was so scary like oh my god I'm gonna go do hair like I'm this shy person that dreads making small talk like I don't put myself out there and like have conversations with strangers how am I gonna do that like I have to touch strangers heads and talk to them the whole time I don't know if I can do that but I I do it I did it I do it now then I, I moved like I was just in a situation where I wasn't really happy and it just felt like it was I was just ready it was just the right time and even though it was like very anxiety inducing and I was terrified because it was a huge thing for me and some people might be like it's really not that big of a deal like I see some people that they literally graduate high school and then they go and they move to like a different country and I'm like that is amazing but like that was just not me so for me it was like moving down south 600 miles away from everyone that I know it was scary but I did that I literally came here I moved here knowing no one never being here before knowing nothing about this area other than what I researched on Google <laughs> and I got an apartment by myself with no one's help like I got this place me and my dog I do it all on my own it's crazy it's so crazy and it's like I get so caught up in just like everyday stuff and I don't really like stop to reflect and think about it but I feel so proud of myself for creating this life for myself and doing it on my own and moving this will always be a big part of my life like a chapter that I will look back on fondly and I, I've, I've done so much personal growth in this space over these last two years I also I turned 30 in this apartment too so I, I had my Saturn return like right around the time that I moved I think how much has changed not even just like as far as my surroundings and like what I'm doing in life, but just like in here, like mentally, even with my relationship, the state that that was in when I first moved down here compared to like everything we've been through the last two years and like the growth we've both gone through to get to where we're at now. And it's just like, I came here feeling excited for the possibilities, but like, so broken like the first few nights just in general the first few months that I was down here my anxiety was through the roof constantly but the first few nights that I was you know in North Carolina I cried myself to sleep where I'm at now it's like the the person that moved into this place compared to the person now that's leaving is just I don't know I always thought I was going to need to rely on another person to split things with or to like help me and I don't I don't need anyone like not only do I not need anyone like I came down here I made a life for myself I've built a community of friends and not only have I been able to put roots down here but now I'm on to like even better things like I'm upgrading. I don't know, it's just cool. It's like, girl, you did that. You did that for yourself, by yourself. Anyway, uh, that's a, a whole, I was just rambling for like over 20 minutes. I'm gonna do a little more packing because I still have, I'll show you the progress we have so far. My car is like filled to the brim pretty much. There's a little bit of room. I have a new vacuum like some new cleaning tools. I'm gonna bring that stuff with me tomorrow because I wanna deep clean the apartment before I start moving my stuff in. So there should be enough room in the car just for like these couple things. And then everything else, oh, and I need to remember to bring my toolbox. These boxes over here that are just kind of filled, it was like all the stuff that was in these drawers here which these were kind of like my overflow drawers. My hair color supplies, and like extra 
skincare, travel size products, like those kinds of things. So like stuff that I don't need on a regular everyday basis. But I still have these boxes over here that are empty. So I may as well fill those up. I'm thinking like the stuff on these shelves I can pack up for the most part because most of that is just decor and like books and stuff. Oh, and I guess I can take the stuff off the fridge too. I have a bunch of magnets. That's been my thing over the last few years is anytime I go somewhere, I get a magnet. So I have Aruba, Las Vegas, that's another thing too. I did a lot of traveling since living in this apartment. I never A, had the money to do it and B, I was always afraid. Like the thought of getting on a plane by myself, absolutely not. But now I'm like, this one is from Venice. This was actually, I went there when I was in high school on like a school trip with my French class. And Universal Studios. I went there as a kid, but this magnet is from when I went. It was literally right before everything shut down because of the pandemic. Me and my boyfriend went on a little trip to Orlando. And I think it was the night that we got home was when they had like shut down travel. And I was like, thank God we literally made it in the perfect time. Atlantic City, that was a couple years ago. We went for my friend Jess's birthday, which actually this is her save the date for her wedding in October. This one is Bonaire. When I went on a cruise back in August. This one, Dominican Republic, that was Right before I started beauty school, I went with my now ex-boyfriend, but my like high school longtime boyfriend at the time. Um, I went with him and his family. Gettysburg. I used to actually live like 20 minutes from Gettysburg, but I went there with my friend Julia, who I do my podcast with. That was fun. I love history and visiting like historical sites. Outer Banks, North Carolina. This one I think is from the first time I went to the Outer Banks. Um, I went there to celebrate my 23rd birthday and we got a big beach house with a bunch of my friends and it was so fun. Like easily one of the best vacations I ever went on. This one is from Salem, one of my favorite towns ever. I went there a couple years ago with my boyfriend. I think it was like right before, like two weeks before Halloween. And that was so fun. It's such a good time. Another Gettysburg magnet. <laughs> this one uh, from the Statue of David. This was actually a gift from my friend Julia when she was in Italy for her birthday a couple years ago. Firenze, Florence. That was from when I was just there this past fall with my family. Charleston, it's from the first time I went to Charleston. This was like one of the trips that made me really fall in love. Like I knew I was gonna move down south to the Carolinas after this trip because I just, I fell in love with Charleston. That was years ago with my ex-boyfriend. He had like a work trip, like the uh, work conference. So um, I tagged along Ocean City, Maryland. Gone there like a bajillion times. That's always a good time. Eastern State Penitentiary, Philadelphia. I went to college like a few blocks away from there. And they do, well they used to anyway, and for Halloween they would do like a really big haunted house attraction thing. Myrtle Beach, went there for me and my boyfriend, our birthdays are a few days apart, so we went there to celebrate both of our birthdays a few years ago. And then that, like, Charleston, I was like, okay, I love the Carolinas, I definitely think I want to move down here. And then after we went to Myrtle Beach, I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, love it down here. Rome, that same trip when I went with my family in the fall. But it's just so fun and it's cool, like, seeing all the magnets and then remembering like oh yeah I remember that trip like wow look at all the places that I've been we got another wedding save the date okay and then I have all these Polaroids Ooh, 
I just stuck them on with double-sided tape. So I'm gonna remove the tape. I love this too. Like, I just love having physical memories. And I've been trying to be good about pulling out the Polaroid camera a little bit more often and getting pictures. Cause you know, we always get pictures for Instagram and stuff. And that's nice to have too, but I just love having like physical photos. So this picture came out really dark, but that is me with my two friends. We were on a boat ride. And then this one was me and my two friends slash coworkers at my friend Nina's birthday. This picture of my little baby. Benny, he was so tiny. This was in the apartment I was living in back in 2020 when I first got him. I should have wrote down the date on this. It's me with a bunch of my friends on that boat ride downtown again. And it's so funny because after we took this picture, we were like, wait, why do we look like the cast from Jersey Shore? <laughs> like the way that something about, like the way we're posing, I don't know, it's so funny to me. Me and my friend Maddie on that same boat ride. We got a lot of good pictures that day. This is an old one. That is me and my friends from cosmetology school. This is a terrible picture, but I just think it's funny, so I saved it. My friend, like, very drunkenly took this picture, but this was at my 30th birthday party. My friend Julia at my birthday. I had rented out an adorable house in the middle of the woods. I had a bunch of my friends come and stay the weekend with me and we just partied the whole time and it was so much fun. Clearly, like that is what I love to do. Like there's just something about renting out a house and getting all of your favorite people under one roof. It's just so fun me and some of my friends we did a girls trip for the weekend to Charleston this past summer that's from that same trip so much fun I love a girls trip and we had so much fun like we made so many good memories this trip my friend Haley and my friend Nina me and my brother <laughs> my friend Robbie from my birthday party this, he's like one of my oldest friends. We've been friends since we were 11. And this is me and my old boss, who I love and miss so much. That was like at an event that we went to where we were doing hair and makeup together. I have some pictures I got printed out in here. I'm either gonna put these on the fridge or like get frames for them but I wanna have more photos in the new apartment. So there's me and my friend Paul and Haley on the cruise we took this past summer. Me and Haley on the cruise again. Me and my friend Taylor and Molly at Taylor's wedding in Vegas last year. Me and some family. Over the summer, I went to Florida. My dad was going down to visit my sister and me and my brother decided to show up and surprise him. This was from that Charleston girls trip. Love that picture. This was on my birthday, my 31st birthday this past summer. We took a boat ride. It's all the ladies that were on the boat. I love this picture too, like stunning. The colors and everybody just looks so good. Oh, I have some more Polaroids. This is me and my boyfriend on New Year's Eve this past year. Like, you know, a month ago. I cannot believe, by the way, that New Year's Eve was exactly, yeah, this was exactly one month ago today. January feels like it, it's been four months long, no? Like, that's not just me, right? The other day I was like, wait, Christmas was a month ago. It feels like it's just dragging. Me and my best friend Kayla, this was my college roommate. She's like a sister to me, literally. My boyfriend. A little candid I took of him. Cutie. Mm. Ah. Long distance sucks. But it's temporary. And I'm enjoying my time living alone. Like it's hard at times for sure. Don't get me wrong. Then there's other times where it's like, I love being alone. It's so fun to get to just decorate however you want and like 
just have privacy and just be in your own space you know it's like such an amazing feeling you know there's pros and cons highs and lows but if you would like me to talk more about like relationship stuff and doing long distance and at, like how we even got to where we're at now let me know and i can share a little bit more maybe i'll do like a get ready with me and just overshare kind of like i'm doing in this video It is a couple hours later. I packed up a good amount of stuff, but I was like, let me stop before I start getting a little bit too crazy and end up packing stuff that I'm gonna like still need here. But we got a good amount. So this is what I have so far. And the car is completely full. I brought a couple things down, like the new vacuum I put in there. And I don't really think there's room for anything else so i think for today i'm done with packing and all of that and then in the morning i'm gonna head over there and get the keys and start the process i'm so excited anyway i'm gonna make myself some lunch now and go get some work done i need to edit the podcast episode for this week and edit this video oh i now i like feel so antsy like, I wish I could go get the keys today because I'm ready. Like, let me get in there. Let me clean. Let me start unpacking. I have work that I need to do anyway, so I may as well do that. That will help the time pass. I will check in later. I'm so tired. I've just been on the computer editing and I'm like so sick of staring at a computer screen. Now it's like 7 o'clock, 7.30, and it feels so much later than that <laughs> but tomorrow i want to get up decently early so that i can have the whole day to go clean the new place and you know start unpacking so i kind of would rather just go to bed early anyway but the next vlog i'm going to share with you guys an empty apartment tour i can't wait to show you the new stuff that i got like some of the new furniture pieces but thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for being here if you've been with me since the very beginning or even just like since I first moved to North Carolina and into this apartment. It's just been a journey. It's going to be weird leaving this place and like not recording from this spot. I have this shelf in my bathroom and that's where I always rest my camera. Like this has just been my spot for recording in like pretty much every vlog. <laughs> since I've lived in here. I'm gonna get ready for bed now. <laughs> I will see you guys super soon in my next video. I am now gonna be posting videos every Monday and then occasionally on Thursdays. That's the uploading schedule I'm gonna try to stick to. Um, so you will be getting videos every week. And thank you again, Anna Luisa, for sponsoring a portion of this vlog. Don't forget, check the description for that link to their site. I will see you in the next one for moving day. Bye.